currents can be expected on the south side of the piers. Longshore currents will sweep up the beach from south to north and make it difficult to stand and stay in one spot. High wave action with rapid succession short period waves will add to the dangerous swimming conditions. Be sure of your swimming ability. Children should not enter the water unsupervised and without a certified flotation device. Caution should be used when in or near the water. Pay attention to flags and signs posted near beach access points and lifeguard stations. Highway action alone can make swimming difficult on days such as this. Incoming waves and rapid succession can tire a swimmer quickly. Structural currents form along the piers and will long short cuts as the wave action flow into the structure. Swimming structural currents which is in effect to only late tonight. High wave action and dangerous swimming conditions expected. Strong structural currents expected. Strong longshore currents expected. Rip currents possible. Location beaches from Grand Haven North to Manistee are appropriate zone. Beaches with particularly dangerous conditions today include Pure Marquette Park in Muskegon. Overview slashed potential impacts. Southerly winds ahead of a cold front will range from 15 to 30 miles per hour over Lake Michigan today into tonight. The strong southerly wind flow will build waves to higher heights the further north you move up the west Michigan coast. The main area of concern will be from Grand Haven to Manistee this afternoon and evening. Waves of 3 to 6 feet are expected. South sides of South Piers will be dangerous places to swim today with Pier Marquette Park in Muskegon, being a popular beach in the area of concern. Waves become chaotic as they hit the pier and reflect back into oncoming waves. Structural currents can be expected on the south sides of the piers. Longshore currents will sweep up the beach from south to north and make it difficult to stand and stay in one spot. High wave action with rapid succession short period waves will add to the dangerous swimming conditions. Be sure of your swimming ability. Children should not enter the water unsupervised and without a certified flotation device. Caution should be used when in or near the water. Pay attention to flags and signs posted near beach access points and lifeguard stations. High wave action alone can make swimming difficult on days such as this. Incoming waves in rapid succession can tire a swimmer quickly. Structural currents form along piers where longshore currents and wave action flow into the structure. Structural currents can sweep you out lakeward along the pier structure. A longshore current is a lake current that moves parallel to shore. Longshore currents can be strong enough to prevent swimmers from being able to keep their feet on the bottom, making it difficult to return to shore. Rip currents are powerful channels of water flowing quickly away from shore, which occur most often at low spots or breaks and sandbars. Rip currents can sweep you out lakeward. Please visit the following website to share your thoughts on the new beach hazard statement. HTTP slash slash www.weather.gov slash survey slash national weather service survey dot php question mark code equals chmbhs thanks for listening to no bam this isn't being counted as a missile alert however i'm only going to count as one eas